Today I'm reviewing this Nerf Blaster, and this is a single um, dart holder, so that is important to note. You're not gonna be able to hold a lot of darts with this one. To get this, um, to be able to launch it, literally all you have to do is pull it up until it clicks, and then that will stay in place. And then to fire the dart, all you're going to do is then just pull the trigger. Now, despite being small, this does actually pack a good punch. I'm going to go ahead and show you here in the next video how far these darts will fly. I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and then measure exactly how far. But um, I'll do that here in a minute. I did wanna mention this is difficult to pull out. So if you're gonna purchase this for younger kids, probably not the best because they're gonna ask you to pull it out over and over again. It's incredibly difficult um, just because it's spring loaded. So what you're gonna, it's super hard for me to even try and do it with one hand. So I probably wouldn't recommend this for any kids that are younger than maybe seven or eight, just because of how difficult that is. Um, if you're looking to buy a blaster or nerf or something like that for younger kids, you're gonna wanna get them motorized ones so that way they don't have to pull on those springs to get them to latch properly. But um, as you can see there, you can do it with one hand. It's just uh, pretty hard to do. This spring is pretty hard to pull out. So uh, we have a five-year-old and she's not able to pull it out. So just, just wanted to point that out. Now I'll go ahead and test the distance on this one. So I'm out here in my driveway and we are gonna go ahead and test and see exactly how far this dart will travel. I've got a mark here in the gravel and then I'm going to go ahead and fire it down a little ways. Um, you do have to be careful because of the way this hangs out. With my bigger hands, the, your hands can often catch. And so if that does happen and you catch on it or something like that, um, then it's not going to go as far. So you do have to be careful on that with bigger hands. Little hands, that wouldn't be an issue, but just for this distance test, I am going to go ahead and make sure my hand is plenty out of the way. And we got over there about the tree. So let me go ahead and measure and see what we ended up with. So as you can see here, that looks like right around 19 feet. However, I actually don't have a long enough tape measure. And so I had to restart it at about 22 feet. So this, this uh, Nerf Blaster actually fired approximately 42, 41 feet, um, actually, is how far it flew. And I was holding it as level as possible. So overall, definitely a good option. It's a little, little blaster only has one bullet, but definitely can shoot a good ways. So your kids will probably have lots of fun with it, as mine do.